Today, we are going to be looking at the hip glance, why you should add it to your batting game plan, and a draw set to help you best master it. The hip glance is an interesting shot as it can be used to get you off strike when you are under pressure. It can also be used to keep the scoreboard ticking over. And finally, there is a chance that you get it fine enough where you can use the pace of the ball to get a boundary. To start mastering the hip glance, we'll be going through a draw set with each draw isolating different focus points. Please watch to the end so you can see it all come together. The first draw will be focusing on the movement, the contact points and the head position while playing the shot. To do this draw, will be using underarm throws and the batter will not be holding their bat. The batter will need to have a back foot movement while trying to catch the ball as close to in front of the front hip as possible. It is important to make sure that your head is still and that your eyes are level when catching the ball as this gives us full vision and is also the position that we want to be in while making point of contact for the hip plants. The person throwing needs to ensure that the throws are accurate for the best practice. The second rule will be focusing on the lines while using the bat this time. Yet again, we are going to be using underarm throws. The batter is going to start already in the position to play a back foot shot. The ball will be thrown in line with the front tip. The batter will play through the line of the ball, like a back foot punch, to the leg side, while trying to keep the bat going in one line from swing to the contact point to the follow through. This is going to help us by ensuring that the batter gives themselves the best chance of connection as you're presenting the full face of the bat through the shot. The hip glance is very similar to a flick shot. We are looking to play with as straight a bat as possible until the point of contact and this draw will allow us to do that. Now that you have reached this point in the video, consider glancing down and leaving a like as we'd really appreciate it. Moving along to the third draw, we are going to be focusing on the contact point here. The batter will start in the usual set position and from there they will receive an underarm throw. The batter will move into line while playing the ball late in line with the front hip. The shot we are playing now is a back foot defense but we still want to have all the basics of back foot play. Making sure that the hands get nice and high in the back swing. It is important that we do not premeditate the defense and have no swing because if we do this in a game we are limiting our options. The focus here is to try and make contact with the ball while still having the full face of the bat. Our penultimate draw is going to be attempting the hip glance in a controlled manner. To play the hip glance, the batter is going to move into line on the back foot while looking to play with straight bat for as long as possible and then on contact, changing the path of the bat to work it where you need to. The batter has two options with hip glance. One, where we look to accelerate the bat through the point of contact this is where we are trying to help the ball reach the boundary or you can decelerate the ball into contact and this is your single option or your strike rotation option. We'll be trying both of these options here to see which the batter is more comfortable with. This will split into two parts, both with underarm throws to ensure consistency. The first part will already involve the batter being in a back foot position. The thrower will throw balls at three different lines to the batter. The three lines we are going to be looking at is just inside the line of the front tip, directly at the front tip, and just behind the front tip. These lines will help the batter see where the ball is going to go from the three different lines that they're hitting, and this is going to help them to determine which are their single options and which are their boundary options, and through which ones they need to look to extend and accelerate the hands, and which ones they decelerate the hands into. The second part of the draw involves adding the back foot movement to it, and then hitting all of those lines yet again. Because the throws are very controlled, adding the movement now allows us to get comfortable with playing the shot from start to finish with the movement. And this is going to start preparing us to do it at a high intensity and closer to that match intensity. The final draw, and what we have all been waiting for, is over arm throws. This will show us whether we could play the shot in a match situation. The batter will attempt the shot from starting point to the finishing point, Start by throwing medium pace as this will build confidence and get the batter used to playing the ball off of the bounce. As the batter gets comfortable with this, you are going to look to start raising the pace so that the batter gets used to playing at a higher level and is ready to play against anyone that they might come up against in a match situation. Look to use both of these options, the one where we accelerate through and the one where we decelerate into it as your boundary and scoring options to really maximize your scoring potential. If you do find this to be a bit of a struggle, 
please refer back to the previous drawers as they'll get you ready to do this again. Thank you for watching. In this video, we covered one of our five most important backward shots. If you want to see what the other four are, check this video out over here. A massive thank you to the following members that helped make these videos possible. Ray, Aaron, Zelia, Hammer, Stanio, Rajesh, Manalisi, and Lima.